Hi everybody, welcome to my Hillside Urban Garden. So today we're gonna do some uh, fall maintenance here on my raised bed see, that has our navel orange tree. You can see that it's December and the oranges are starting to get, uh, starting to look a little bit orange now, which we're kind of excited about. But this time of year, um, underneath this orange tree in this raised bed that we have, um, I've got some peonies growing. I love these peonies because they were in my eight, my great aunt Teresa's garden. So um, they're an old family heirloom that I was lucky enough to get a couple of uh, rhizomes from my mom. So I want to make sure that I take care of them so they can uh, multiply. But this time of year, it's mid-December and um, you can see that they're not looking too good and we've had some frosty and cold days which they're uh, very um, susceptible to. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna trim them back. So first though, let me give you a tour of this bed and show you all the different plants that we have in there and some of the cutback and the cleanup that we're going to do today. So let's get started, I'll show you what it looks like. So we can see as we get closer to the um, peonies, you can see that the pieces have started to die. And what we're going to do is we're going to go down here, we're going to cut them low. But what else do we have in here? We've talked about, see, there's our orange tree, but we also have a, a hosta in here. We're going to cut that one down as well. Cut a few of them in there. And around on this side, let's see, on this side we also have a, a hookara. So we've got that here. That one here, we're just going to, I think we're going to leave that. I also have a begonia growing in here. And here's the interesting one. This is a, a dahlia. I think I posted pictures of this one. Beautiful black leaves, but it's in a pot. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to take this and actually I'm going to plant it in my front yard. And that'll leave a spot for springtime to put something else in there. So let's clean out this thing and then we're going to get this orange tree um, fertilized and get everything uh, cleaned up, make it looking really good. So let's get started. Okay, so you can see what this bed looks like. So not only do we have the main plant, which is the uh, orange tree, but we also have the peonies in here. We've got the hosta, we've got the, the hookara, and then we have that pot over there that has that beautiful daylily, which we're going to repurpose to the front yard, get it out of the pot. So um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start here in the back, and I've got my handy dandy blue bucket, so we can dump everything into the yard waste. So uh, let's see, so remember what I said, we're gonna go right down to the ground level here and we're just gonna, we're just gonna cut every one. So we'll just come here, make sure that you watch your fingers when you're doing this, it goes fairly quickly. This is one of those fall maintenance things that you can do that you see a result very quickly. So as I'm seeing this, another thing, if you have your automatic sprinkler system tied to your plants here. Be very careful of the, um, the hoses and stuff. If you snap those or cut them, it will have to be repaired and I would recommend that you do it right now while you're remembering or you have a big leak in the spring. So we're just going to keep going here. We're going to be careful of all the sprinkler lines. Oh, look at that. See, look at that. It looks pretty good. It looks better already. The rest of these. There we go. So, you can see now we've cut back the peony. We can go through here with our hand, or if you have a small uh, little handbrake, that works really well too. And we're just going to get all the dead leaves out of here. Remember I said we also have the hosta in here. So you can see that we have the hosta underneath here. So we're gonna do exactly the same thing. The hosta has already died back. We're gonna cut it down to ground level. So if it doesn't pull out, sometimes they pull out fairly easy. You're just gonna take your zippers. And look at, that's done already. How fast was that? So there you go. So I do still have the begonia in there and I have the hookerel, but those are fine. The begonia will die all the way back and it'll come back next year. And we still have that daylily in the corner. 
but I'm going to take that out and we're going to put that in the front yard. So for now, we have cut back everything that we need to. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go in here with a little rake on my hand and I'm going to get all the dead leaves out. And you know, this also helps the, uh, the orange tree too. Once we cut all this back, there's more air circulation in here for the tree. So that's important to me during the peak time for the oranges. And then after we do all that, we're going to put a bag of compost or a bag of um, potting soil or a bag of any kind of soil that you might have around that's new in here. And we're going to also going to use the um, citrus fertilizer and fertilize our orange tree. We do that every year at this time. And during the, the winter, what will happen is all those nutrients that are in that bag of soil we're going to put in here, plus all of the fertilizer, when the rains come, that rain is going to seep in here and it's just going to um, fertilize and give food to the entire um, raised bed area here. So I hope you enjoyed the video today. At the end I'll post after I put the soil and stuff in what everything looks like. But this is a great fall project and you can see the results uh, very quickly and um, it will only help the orange tree um, do better. So go out in your yard, do a small project today. Spend 10 minutes out in the yard for some fall maintenance. So hope you enjoyed the video. And remember, be safe in the garden. Always wear your hat and your sunscreen. Thanks, everyone. Bye.